Day 16. The Pharisees heard the multitude murmuring these things concerning him, and the chief priests and the Pharisees sent officers to arrest him. Then Jesus said, I will be with you a little while longer, then I go to him who sent me. You will seek me and won't find me. You can't come where I am. The Jews therefore said among themselves, where will this man go that we won't find him? Will he go to the dispersion among the Greeks and teach the Greeks? What is this word that he said? You will seek me and won't find me, and where I am you can't come. Now on the last and greatest day of the feast, Jesus stood and cried out, If anyone is thirsty, let him come to me and drink. He who believes in me, as the scripture has said, from within him will flow rivers of living water, but he said this about the Spirit, which those believed in him were to receive. For the Holy Spirit was not yet given, because Jesus wasn't yet glorified. Many of the multitude, therefore, when they heard these words, said, This is truly the prophet. Others said, This is the Christ. But some said, What does the Christ come out of Galilee? Hasn't the scripture said that the Christ comes of the offspring of David and from Bethlehem? the village where David was. So a division arose in the multitude because of him. Some of them would have arrested him, but no one laid hands on him. The officers therefore came to the chief priests and Pharisees and they said to them, why didn't you bring him? The officers answered, no man ever spoke like this man. The Pharisees therefore answered them, you aren't also led astray, are you? Have any of the rulers believed in him, or of the Pharisees? But this multitude that doesn't know the law is cursed. Nicodemus, he who came to him by night being one of them, said to them, Does our law judge a man unless it first hears him personally and knows what he does? They answered him, Are you also from Galilee? Search and see that no prophet has arisen out of Galilee.